I've been trying to find a way to segue into um, Tom Petty's Into the Great Wide Open, and maybe this is a good way to do it, rather than trying to talk about every detail about this very densely detailed video. Um, I can talk about the medical stuff that I see, or the links to medical stuff, and, you know, we can't forget how Tom Petty died at a very young age. I mean, I'm very young, but pretty young. It was a heart attack, I believe. So it opens up right away with hearts, with what looks like a nail in them. Spiked hearts. So in my dream last night, it was something spikes were linked with Troy... So Troy seems to be working on behalf of this group. He better stop. Um, this character here is, you know, he's an archetypal character, but he's also sp sp representing specific people, like somebody who wants to make it in music. But at another level, he represents my daughter's father, and these sunflowers represent us. And then there's this bus coming, the bus says Hollywood on it. This is a painting that was painted between 1632 and 1633. Anthony Van Dyke, self-portrait with sunflowers. Using all the same stuff that they use today um, to symbolize the sunflower, symbolizing us, the same types of hand signals that are used, the chains that are used as symbolic. And even the symbol that I saw in my dream last night, which I identified as a vaginal symbol on the back of his you know, clothing. Sixteen thirty three. The sign behind Eddie here um, says, Watch for snow. And then the bus says, Hollywood, Flynn, GM, and LA Tours. He's in front of this field of like wheat or grass or something like that, this long wheat or grass. Okay, this matches it with, um, you know, one of the things that this matches with is Pink Floyd's Learning to Fly, which shows a Native American young man cutting grass, who I think is supposed to, you know, represent my daughter's father. And in fact, Tom Petty had a, had a song on this album also called Learning to Fly. So Eddie waited till he finished high school, went to Hollywood and got a tattoo. He's got this orange suit here and this top hat and this tattoo parlor stuff. A bunch of pictures, a lot of clues. So this is like the game of Clue, which is a game I like to play a lot of as a kid. And that's a lot of... So the chorus is Rebel Without a Clue. And all around him are these clues. I remember playing a game like this when I was a small kid. There's some type of test. Maybe it was a test of some being psychic or something. Because actually now that I think of it... Um, they put these, they were doing this, and I kept picking the right cup that the thing had under, but I wasn't paying attention to where it was going, and I don't know, but that was strange. Um, and these are like, you know, inverted arches or Vs up here, and then there's the hangers. So all, everything around here is a clue. And that's the tattoo, a heart with a knife through it which is what it feels like right now. Like, as they're attacking my heart, it feels like knives almost. Not, not like a real knife. I mean, when they first started these attacks, they did it very extremely in a terrifying way. But now it's just like kind of like they're trying to jimmy my heart apart. That's what it feels like. He met a girl out there with a tattoo, too. She ends up being like this wholesome... She ends up like being this wholesome type of girl later on. I don't know. She transforms. So they, there's a lot of transformations that happen in this. So is she supposed to, at this point, in the tattoo parlor, who is she supposed to represent? Is it Michelle Crone? Possibly. Is it Toby Vale? And then at what point, like... Did he, did Tom Petty, one question I have is that Tom, did P Tom Petty literally have Kurt Cobain in his mind when he wrote the song, or when they did this video? 
and the reason why I wonder that is because um, of the imagery that seems to be linked with the imagery that shows up in Nevermind and then the weird kind of parallels that happen in the career of Nirvana, Nirvana later on. I mean, bad parallels as far as bad things happening. So there they are at first. And I guess I guess I am just going to go through this frame by frame almost, but um, the medical industry is all behind this. I think that's the, the kind of the point I want to make is that this is about mind control, like Hollywood, MK Ultra, not just Hollywood, but entertainment industry um, links to this and through the medical systems, through psych psychology and medicine. Behind her, you see, oh, oh, that represents Chris and I. So this whole thing is brokered, you know, like with us as, as sort of like a, a magical talisman, you know, our lives and our, um, you know, misfortunes. It's the idea of like turning someone else's misfortune into somebody's good fortune. The band is all small right there, like, you know, like little dolls, right? Animated dolls, like Chris's band was treated his whole life. And then you see this imagery immediately right away, a pencil pointing to what appears to be a syringe type of thing. Because the syringe thing was planned. It also kind of looks like a rocket, but it definitely has got a needle on it. So, you know, it's once again, many, many, one of this, <laughs> these uh, clues that go on over and over, way back into even before Chris was born, that this whole, you know, getting somebody addicted to drugs was part of the plan. He's coming back right now, so I'm going to have to come back to this music, but this video. But what I wanted to, the reason why I thought about this video is specifically, it, specifically the scene in the party where he has, uh, where a spell is cast on him, supposedly, by this woman who he, you know, helps him out at first and then he rejects her. And I'll, if I don't get to it right away, I'll put the exact moment into the description of this video. So Eddie rocks to the top. Okay, here it is. So it's this this moment here. This party, he's got a jacket, and on the jacket, you know, he's got these Chinese things. It's this his sleeves. On his sleeves is the same type of symbol. Linked spirals. Similar. Not exactly the same, but similar. <laughs> 